One in 200 stars has habitable Earth-like planets surrounding it. In the galaxy, half a billion stars have Earth-like planets going around them. That's huge. So when we look at the night sky, it makes sense that someone is looking back at us. Mikio Kaku Hello, dear friends. Currently, it is believed that in the Milky Way galaxy, the total number of potentially habitable planets is estimated to be around 300 million. In today's video, we would like to tell you about the most interesting Earth, two zero planets that have already been discovered. Before we begin, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out our new exciting videos about space and the universe. As of October 2023, the existence of 5,511 exoplanets in 4,070 planetary systems has been confirmed with 4,000 candidates waiting to join their ranks. Of all these planets, only a few hundred are Earth-like. Many of the discovered planets are located hundreds, if not thousands, of light years away from Earth. So how do scientists determine if a found planet could be similar to ours? They use what's called the Earth Similarity Index, or ESI for short. This metric is calculated based on the fundamental characteristics of the planet and ranges from 0 to 1, where 1 represents Earth. Any planet with an index above 0 0.8 can be considered Earth-like. Let's now take a look at the top five candidates for possible human second home. Let's start with Gliese 667 CC. The SE of this planet is 0 0.85. It was discovered in 2011 and orbits the red dwarf Gliese 667 in a triple star system located just 24 light years away from Earth. The exoplanet was detected through the measurement of radial velocity, which revealed that the star's motion was influenced by the gravitational interaction with the nearby planet. The minimum mass of the planet is 3.8 times that of Earth, and its average temperature regime can be very similar to that of our planet. Modeling at the Planetary Habitability Laboratory at the University of Puerto Rico in Arequibo shows that the average surface temperature of the atmosphere would be around 27 degrees Celsius if the planet has an Earth-like atmosphere with a greenhouse effect. If its orbit inclination is not too small and its mass not too large, then the greenhouse effect could potentially create comfortable conditions for primitive life forms on the planet's surface. Kepler-442b the SE of this planet is 0 0.84. It was discovered in 2015 and is located approximately 1,100 light years away from us. Kepler 442b is a super-Earth, an exoplanet with a mass and radius larger than Earth's, but smaller than the icy giants like Uranus and Neptune. Its equilibrium temperature is minus 40 degrees Celsius. Due to its radius, it is likely a rocky planet with a solid surface. The estimated mass of this exoplanet is 2.36 times that of Earth. Assuming the composition of rocky materials is similar to Earth, the surface gravity of Kepler 442b would be 30% stronger than Earth. This planet orbits an orange dwarf with mass and radius roughly half that of the Sun. T Garden B the Earth Similarity Index of this planet is 0 0.95, which is the highest among all exoplanets discovered so far. The planet was discovered in June 2019 and orbits the red dwarf Teagarden, located 12.5 light-years from the solar system. According to modeling, there is a 60% chance that conditions on Teagarden B are similar to Earth. This means it may have liquid water, moderate temperatures and weather conditions conducive to complex organic life. The estimated average temperature on this planet is 28 degrees Celsius. Tea Garden is a dim red dwarf, but the planet is closer to its star than Mercury is to the Sun. Interestingly, Tea Garden B completes a full orbit around its star in less than five days. Tea Garden is a red dwarf which could be a significant challenge for the formation of life on the exoplanet. Stars of this type frequently experience powerful flares that, given the planet's proximity, would destroy its atmosphere. If this is the case, the planet has no protection even for the simplest organisms from the destructive effects of radiation. 
Proxima Centauri b. The Earth similarity index of this planet is 0 0.87. It was discovered in 2016 using the radial velocity method. Proxima Centauri b is the closest known exoplanet and also the closest exoplanet located in the habitable zone. It orbits a red dwarf star that is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. The planet has a mass of 1.2 times that of Earth. Assuming it has a rocky composition and a density similar to Earth's, its radius would be 1.1 times that of Earth. The equilibrium temperature of the planet is minus 39.15 degrees Celsius, which is slightly lower than Earth's temperature, minus 18 degrees Celsius. Like Tea Garden, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, which could be critical for the emergence of life on the planet. Even now, it is estimated that the planet receives tens to hundreds of times more high energy and X-ray radiation than Earth. Additionally, in 2017, a powerful flare was recorded from the parent star, which could easily have destroyed any potential biosphere on the planet if one existed. Kepler 62e The SE of this planet is 0 0.83. It was discovered in 2013 along with other planets in the system of an orange dwarf and is located at a distance of 1,200 light-years from Earth. Kepler-62 is one and a half times larger than Earth, which means it can retain an atmosphere. It is believed to be a planet entirely covered by an ocean. At an atmospheric pressure of 100 kilopascals, this exoplanet would have an average surface temperature of approximately 17 degrees Celsius. But, since the planet is covered by an ocean, there is a high probability of a significant greenhouse effect which would make the planet much hotter with an average temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Even under unfavorable circumstances, the superocean would provide almost ideal conditions for underwater life. The likelihood of at least single-celled organisms forming on this planet is estimated to be around 70-80% as all necessary conditions are present. A new era in the study of exoplanets is just beginning, with scientists transitioning from discovering and counting exoplanets to selectively choosing potentially habitable worlds for the analysis of their atmospheres. Hopes of finding a new home are high, which means that sooner or later we may achieve this. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to be the first to know about our new videos. Please leave your comments, letting us know what you would like to learn about next. Thank you, and see you next time.